All right, Pro Laptop versus the new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2 versus Apple M2 MacBook Pro. Which is better? Let's compare them. First, the externals. The Surface Laptop Studio 2 is Microsoft's new flagship 3-in-1 laptop, tablet, and easel device, starting at $2,000. While the M2 MacBook Pro is Apple's premium laptop with incredible performance, starting at $2,000 for the small version and $2,500 for the larger one. Let's keep going. For the form factors, both devices have their quirks, with the Surface Laptop Studio 2 having a novel mobile touchscreen that allows for it to convert between a tablet, easel, or a typical laptop functionality. It's super sweet and a main selling point of the device. While the MacBook Pro comes in two sizes that you can purchase depending on your preferences, the larger one typically having a bit fuller sounding speakers than the other in general, but overall, they're both very nice at 14 or 16 inches. Numbers wise, the MacBooks are just a tad better, but it's a negligible amount for both, so let's keep going. For the connectivity, this might not be as negligible. First, props to Apple. The M2 MacBook Pros have great connectivity, with an excellent port selection that I can't really ask for too much more besides maybe another USB. But for the Surface Laptop Studio 2, on the other hand, it's still not bad by any means. However, it is not nearly as flexible with it lacking an HDMI port, nor is it as professional friendly with a micro SDXC card slot, which is smaller than a typical must-D. However, shout out to Microsoft for keeping USB-A alive. So the little things, but Apple still takes this section. Now for cameras, that's a little different. Both laptops will indeed have you satisfied with 1080p Full HD resolutions with their webcams, with software integration for background blur, auto framing, etc. So for zoom calls and whatnot, you'll be pleased. So in summary, for the externals, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is more flexible with its form factor, while the MacBook Pro, by the numbers, has a bit better of a display and connectivity. Now, let's move on to the internals. For the internal specs, both devices are relatively satisfactory. The Surface Laptop Studio 2 sports an Intel Core i7 chip, which will be able to perform all the tasks that you would require. However, the biggest drawback is that the starter model does not come with a dedicated GPU, meaning its ability to run graphics intensive programs will be a bit limited. So gaming, for instance, might be a little tough on the starter model. Now if that doesn't matter to you, you'll do fine. But for me, I would have wished to have some dedicated graphics card. Meanwhile, the M2 MacBook Pro sports the new M2 chips. Pro and Max, with the latter coming in the more expensive configurations. These processors are quite impressive and balance performance and battery life very well. However, regarding gaming, Macs are not really known for that, so keep that in mind. But to quantify, here are the single core performance benchmarks of these device configurations, and here are the multi-core. As you can tell, the MacBook Pro chips are just a bit faster. And for storage, we actually have the same amount for both devices. Surprisingly. Now, there is a little bit of deviation when we get to the upper configurations, plus maybe a little bit regarding the SSD speed, but I won't go too far into the weeds with those, just that both starter configurations should start with more storage, in my opinion. What's not tied, though, is the battery life. Now, this is based solely on what's being advertised by each company. So take this one a little lighter, especially since the Surface Laptop Studio 2 hasn't been tested by reviewers thoroughly. But Microsoft claims 19 hours for its laptop and Apple 18 to 22. But I'm not going to take these into account for the comparison, it's just for your information. But when available, definitely make sure to check out the reviews. That'll give you more insight. But both devices have excellent security software that will ensure that your laptops are not tampered with in the Slightest. And lastly, for the operating systems, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 runs Windows 11, while the MacBook Pros use Mac OS. So two fairly different operating systems differentiated by a few factors. But in summary, the MacBook Pro has a little bit of a higher performing processor. Let's get on to my verdict. So, flagship laptop versus who should buy each one? Well, uh, it's actually pretty simple. The real issue is which one of the laptops should you buy, right? which configuration. Because frankly, this really comes down to, as always, your needs and preferences. Since both of these devices are great and won't really disappoint anyone. Which, thank goodness, because they're $2,000 starting. So the main differentiating factor between the two really comes down to their operating systems. Windows and Mac OS these days are still different. 
no doubt about that. Typically, Windows has a bit better compatibility with niche programs and games, while macOS is better integrated with the Apple ecosystem. So ultimately, it's about what you're looking for with those operating systems. So firstly, if you're a Windows purist, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is your device. It runs the operating system well, and you'll be able to do everything you typically can with great performance. But if you're an Apple person, the M2 MacBook Pro would be the better fit. However, there still is a little bit more to this discussion. Remember how I said the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is a bit more versatile? Well, that touchscreen and its different configurations means that if you're looking for a device to use for art and digital drawings, whatnot, the Surface Laptop Studio 2 is the better one in this comparison. Because MacBooks, although I wish they did, don't have touchscreens. So for artists, you should go for the Surface Laptop Studio 2. That will suffice for your workflow. Otherwise, everything else is up to personal preference. Little small things here and there, but ultimately both devices are excellent. And you can't really go wrong with either or. So that was my comparison of the Surface Laptop Studio 2 versus M2 MacBook Pro. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Peace.